gets in lads euro semifinals uh about a day or two away at this point so we're gonna give you guys a little bit of a preview slash predictions video for the two games that's spain and france that's uh netherlands and england so before we get into it though leave a like if you think that one of these teams is gonna win the euros <laughs> what <laughs> into my mind right there uh <laughs> One of these teams. <laughs> Basically, just leave a like no matter what. That's so just basically leave a like, what yes. Elijah is saying. Right yes, and if you don't leave a like, then, what, then you're the one without ball knowledge. That, that's all exactly. I'm going to say. If you don't no leave like, like you're the one or a dislike, ball no ball knowledge. You're admitting yeah. to it. But before we get into our predictions, I need every single one of you watching to let us know in the comments down below how you think these games are going to finish. And then we read every single comment we get. So we'll react to a good few if they are worthy of reacting to. But first of all, Spain... France is the game we're going to start with because it comes the day before England and Netherlands. So yeah, Spain versus France. And and in both of the tournaments of Euros and Copa America, I think this is the game I'm looking forward to the most in the semifinals. I don't know about you, Andres, but this is the closest yeah. game that we have to watch, personally. It could go either way. So. And I'm going to go Spain, first of all. I think Spain's Oof. going. I think Spain's well, going this, here. This is awkward. I, I also <laughs> was going to go Spain. <laughs> oh, well. France, if I'm going to be honest, they, they're obviously, I feel like, the main favorite leading into the tournament uh, at least for me i think i think that's what i was saying when we were doing our years predictions and whatnot um they have not looked that good i don't know what didier Deschamps has done to this france squad but he has ran them into the ground in terms of playing well and and and, and you know lovely football to watch and all it, it isn't there anymore france has not looked good i think they still have yet to score a non-penalty goal i'm pretty sure um at least by one of the french players i, I don't know spain spain have just looked miles better and look to have way more momentum than France. France are just squeaking by at this point. I don't know yeah. if you agree with that, but they're just squeaking I, I, no, by. I, I agree, especially I feel like in, in, uh, another highlight is Mbappe with his nose, broken nose, just because mm. I think I think they took him off because I don't think they were really uh, – they were worried that he wasn't going to make his penalty just because he didn't play well all game as soon as he got hit in the face. Yeah. Yeah, um, but a, a lot. The only player that I in the last game that I actually saw play well was Dembele. When he came on, it was like Dembele oh. changed the game. Which I is, was like, oh, I was like, if he wasn't, if he wanted to be just selfish, like I can't say that word, but we're gonna run with it. If he just wanted to be that and shoot it instead of trying to lay it off every single time, he probably would have scored. Yeah, but he, I, I would chuck him in the starting lineup. But I mean, yeah. maybe he's better off as a sub just because just his pace, but man, he made, he, every time he got the ball, it looked like something was going to happen. He changed um, the whole game, which is like both a testament to Dembele because he has not been the player that he should be and that he's been, that he's been paid for the past, what, two, three seasons. Um, so good for him for doing that. But also it's also showing how shit the rest of the France team is in terms of trying to produce something. There has been nothing going for the French team in terms of production of goal scoring opportunities. Does he start? I don't I, know. If he that's starts. that's that's the thing is I don't think he should just because I think he, he he provides that instant impact off the bench. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you I think you have to tell him though. You can't just be like you're not starting. Like I think you have to tell him like we're looking for you as a super sub type S thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. To give him I, I think he'd appreciate years. that considering how it went last game too. Yeah. I yeah. I feel like that's what they're gonna do, but once again, they, he might start. Honestly, some of these big teams in these major tournaments, two of these teams in these semis have looked shocking overall. I'm not going to say the other one just yet. But um, <laughs> but Spain, on the other hand. Spain, Spain, on the other hand. On the other hand, different story. Can I say that Spain probably were nowhere near the... Not about nowhere near, but like, I think so many people did not count them in their favorites. Yeah, and I did top two or three. I didn't. No, Spain, <clears throat> Spain are one of those teams where since... The since the demise of the Iniesta era of Spain, since that era of legends is gone, Spain, on paper at least, have yet to look the same way and bring the same hope until this season, until this summer. I feel like Nico Williams, fantastic. Oh my god, I want Nico Williams at Chelsea so bad. He's such a good player. Um, and the fact that this team has come this far is a testament to their youth, first of all. Lamine yeah. Yamal at 16 years of age. Three assists so far. Insane. <laughs> thumbs up. Oh, wait, wait, the, 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 the thumbs up came for, for Lamine. Um, the fact that he's able to do so much at 16 years old is really a testament to um, how bad I am as a soccer player, and that hurts me. That really just hurts me. Yeah, it, it's tough. Hey, you know, everyone's on their own journey. That's why, that's why I tell myself yeah. to cope with it. Everyone's on their own journey. <laughs> but me and Pro Clubs, though, I'm, I'm way better at Pro Clubs. This Spain team has come from nowhere 
to be in the semifinals here. And probably, I think at least for me, out of the four teams playing in the semifinals, Spain is the most deserving of winning the entire tournament. For what they've done so far, mm-hmm. I think has been phenomenal. They're, they're playing proper, proper football here. Besides the smaller teams that we've seen in this tournament, they've been right. playing proper, proper football. Unfortunately, they're not there. But also, I think it's going to be important for this game is that Danny Carvajal is also going to be out for this game due to suspension. And True. Robin Lenormand. Le- 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 yeah, Le- there we go. This. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you for the assist. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, those two are, are going to miss the, the semis on Tuesday. So that's going to change it up a little bit, I have a feeling. But I don't think it's going to have a massive impact, I don't think, just because I think... I feel like Danny Carvajal not being there might have a pretty big impact. But it's like, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of next man up mentality with this space squad. Everyone's so informed that I, I feel like mm. it, it won't really matter too much. You know what I mean? That's fair. That's fair. I, I think it's going to be a big miss, but considering that France haven't done anything on attack anyways, I don't think it's going to be the worst thing in the world. Spain, I feel has so many tools to break down this French team in comparison to France. Like, France yeah. should have all the ability to break down any team in the world, but they just have not shown that, and they've been playing such poor football. Like, their most recent game against Portugal was, like, boring. That was hard to how, watch. How boring that game was. It's also... Uh, until the end. I mean, until, like, the last, you know, like... Not, not I, guess, I guess it's just penalties, really. It was literally only the penalties. Ronaldo made it boring because he decided to shoot every free kick yeah, from the true. most impossible angles that shit was annoying. He needs to retire. I think that kind of showed it right there. <laughs> uh, that his whole tournament kind of showed, like, all right, bud, you need to step down. Do you see that he said he might be available for the World Cup? I mean, this is beside the point. Portugal's not even in the semifinals anymore. Bro, but he said he might be available for the World dude, Cup. Dude, he needs to retire. I kid you not. That performance was <laughs> every game I saw was woeful, bro. He I mean, just, he just needs to stop. He, it's okay. You had a good, you had a good, a really good career, a great career. You just it's time to Ronaldo time to hang obviously. It up. You cannot deny his legacy and greatness in the in history and among the world's, but... the world's best is longevity. But I've never seen one man hold back an entire national team so bad, so bad. Portugal should have such a good team. Anyway, beside the point, they're not in semifinals anyway. They're out. Doesn't matter at this point. Wait, I just um, like dogging on Portugal. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just yeah, it's fun. Ronaldo's on that team. It's fun. I would have preferred Portugal to be here though against Spain. The Portugal Spain rematch from the 2018 World Cup would have been. Oh, it would have been really easy, honestly. I think Spain would have walked through it. Oh, Spain would have walked it out. Yeah, easy. Easy. But um, I guess this is a better match in the end. But I don't, I, at that point, I still don't even know. If France are playing the way... If France continue to play the way they are, I think Spain will find it a little bit harder to break it down and to get something from the game. But at the same time, I don't think it's that big of a deal because they don't have to worry as much on defense unless Usman Dembele continues to have the same game. All um, you got to do is smack Mbappe in the face. Or head the ball right out of his face, and he's done. He's done, dude. That's all you yeah. got to do. That's that's my game plan, bro. If there I, you go. I'm yeah. playing Mbappe. Sweep the leg. Or if I'm doing – no, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is all accidental, okay? This is not intentional oh, stuff right here. Um, <laughs> like, you know, like a trailing – you know, he's chasing you down, and you put your hand out. You accidentally slap him in the face type thing. You know what I mean? Right. You know, maybe, maybe on a little cheeky corner, you, like, put your hand up and actually hit him in the face. You know what I mean? No, yeah. Nothing, nothing to cause – you know, nothing to – Actually, hurt him, hurt him, but you know, sing my right. nose a little bit to, you know what I mean? to discomfort him. Wow, exactly. Sinister, sinister, Andres. No, excuse me. At our excuse me, at our high school, they taught us to step on people's foot straight no, corners. That's true. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> to elbow them and everything. <laughs> Before we move on to the next game, then Andres, final score prediction for this game. I'm gonna go 2 1, 2 Ooh. 1, and guess what? An own goal. The first beat. <laughs> That's how France scored. <laughs> well, let's one. see. Robin Lenormand did score an own goal, I think. I forget against who, but Lenormand did score an own goal for Spain. So he's not going to be able to score that, but Spain are susceptible to it. I'm going to go 2 0 for Spain. Mm. I, I still don't think France scores. I, I think, I feel like at, to some extent the goal is going to come for France, yet at the same time, they're playing Spain. Like, if there's a team for it to, like, for their goal to not be scored against, it is Spain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm i going to give it two notes to Spain. I think Spain will move forward. I don't think France have a shout here, personally. But I think it's going to be a good game, to be honest. I think Spain might struggle a little bit. But I do think, in general, Spain is just going to walk it out. It's nice to be a neutral, because I don't got to stress about this. I'm not going to lie. 
<laughs> I can just enjoy. Um, okay, we move on to the other side of the bracket then. Uh, just determine who else is going to be in the final. Netherlands, England. If you're saying that England is going to win this game, you're English. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I don't think they beat Netherlands here. I really don't think they beat the Netherlands. No. It's not going to... Dude, honestly, what Southgate has done to that squad is actually like... Criminal. Criminal. He should be locked Proper up. criminal. He should be yeah. locked up for that. I mean... They, the way they play is so boring... But they somehow win it. But it's because mm-hmm. of individual talent they win the game because they have mm-hmm. such that good of players. Like, let's be real. They should – they beat Slovakia, right? Yes. Yeah, with Jude Bellingham's over red kick. Slovakia deserved to go through that. They did not deserve to to lose that game, but, but they did. That's the thing, but they did. Yeah. And then the next game. Switzerland. Who, Switzerland. <laughs> definitely did not deserve to no. win that game either, but no. they did. Yeah, it, they, they saw pull it out in the end, and I guess I mean you know in a tournament sense do that's it. all that matters. But all that's all that matters. But you've already lost the fans. The only thing you can do to somewhat gain it back would be to win the Euros. But even then, how proud are you as a fan to win it in the way that you did? That's England thing, should not is... be struggling against Slovakia and Switzerland. No, I'm not about to take some shots at England fans right now. Those fair weather fans. I've ever seen before in my life. The, they'll, they'll criticize someone so bad. This includes the prem, all, all, yeah, ch- championship, all the all, everything. And then, and mm. then they'll, something bad will happen. They'll be criticized. As soon as something good happens, they forget all about it. And this mm. is the same thing with with Southgate. It's gonna it's gonna be criticize them, but at the same time, as soon as they win, they don't care. They celebrate it like it's like it's everything, and it's just like, bro, they're fake. That's fair. And I mean, I guess like, I, I mean, I guess that that is. The name of the game in general, but yes, no, I agree. I totally agree with you. Is that it, it's it's the same cycle though, is it not? That you know, Greg, or no, sorry, Greg, uh, Gareth. It's the they're the same person. They're the same, the same person. person. <laughs> they provide the same to, to their country, and that's nothing. Um, Gareth gets slack beginning of the tournament. They do okay at some point. Never win it though, but he gets them to a semifinals appearance, and then they they and then there's quiet about Gareth until the next tournament and the cycle repeats. However, this should be the last tournament for Gareth. I'm pretty sure you said he's not returning after this. So as a result, Gareth needs to do something to win the game. And with, what's so funny to me is after every single game they've played, there's a journalist that asks them, hey, are you going to make any changes to the way you're playing or like, you know, to how you're going to approach this game the next game? And Gareth says, or the players say, yes. We're, we want to change how we're viewed. We want to attack more. We want to push the other team a little bit more. And then they play the exact same way every time. And at one point, at what point is that down to the players just not wanting to do anything else? Because it's working. What, Except against the rumored to go a three in the back going into the Switzerland game. I've seen that. I've seen that. And, and against Netherlands, Netherlands have the, one of the best defenses in the Euros on paper. And the golden boot at the moment. And the Golden Boot winner and Cody Gakpo, who knows how to play against a lot of these English players in the Prem, um, or at least kind of, kind of, he kind of knows. <laughs> he knows what he should be doing. He doesn't do it. But England here, I, I feel really don't have much of a Some shout. Shade at Gakpo right there. There's no need for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know his brother goes to Cal State Long Beach. Did I say that? No, it's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, kind of random. My uh, kind of my reference brother compared to his met him and stuff compared like that. to you know him, but you know that's cool. Well, he did, it, he's doing it for education, not for soccer. He doesn't care about soccer. Oh, okay. He's he's a, yes, yes, yes. Um, but England, just disappointing. And the only way you're going to beat the Netherlands here is by changing the entire way that you play. And is Gareth going to do that? Has Gareth shown that he can do that? No. Hear me no, out. Not one bit. Diego would hate me for saying this, but Kane, he's got to go, blood. I think, no, I think he'd agree with you, if I'm being honest. Harry he does. Is just he not. honestly does nothing. I, I mean, he no. gets the ball so far deep and then passes it like a five, ten yard pass, and then he runs all the way back up, and then no one's there. Uh, yeah. Ivan Tony looked good. Um, Ivan Tony looked he might, good. He might go to West Ham, so I'm going to gas him up a little bit. Ivan Tony, what a I guy. Mean, even Ollie Watkins, I'd rather start over Harry yeah. Kane, if I'm being honest, both of them. It's just because he's captain, I think, and, you know, probably, you know, yeah. this is well, whatever I mean, Southgate says. He is but, one of the best, if not the best, English striker of all time. So, like, I like, I get it. I, I, I get it. There's a time. 
I think entire, it's time's I mean, up. The only reason that this team is this far is individual performances. I mean, last game, if Bukayo Saka didn't have the game that he had, they wouldn't be here. Or it's just the um, shot that he had. He didn't have the greatest game. It was just that one shot that he had that. Well, I feel. Like, I feel like in, in general he had a he had a better game than he's been having. Bukayo Saka has been on fraud watch for this tournament, alongside Harry Kane personally. No, but I think he, he, I think Arsenal he had a fans game. as soon as he scored gassed him up, saying that. <laughs> I know people were like, "He's a, he's our new right wing back." I'm like okay. individual moments of brilliance, not even performances. I guess moments of brilliance are the only reason they got here. Bukayo Saka last game, Jude Bellingham's random goal, um, uh, his bicycle kick, that after he had it. A shit game. He had a bad game, and he scores one bicycle hey, kick. To be fair, to going. Yes, great players find a way. They have their great moment. players find a way. Great players find a way, and he's probably going to win the Ballon d'Or now. Now that Brazil's out and the Englands are still in, uh, so, but it, like I said, individual moments of brilliance, and 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 yeah, it's just moments that are going to get him through. Against the Netherlands, I find it a lot harder to have an individual moment of brilliance. That's I where think- my issue is. I think it's also going to be important to note here that this is their first actual test against a good team. Mm. Like besides Switzerland, That's Denmark, true. Denmark was is on the decline, but they, you know, it was, it was a one, one draw at the end, but yeah. like Switzerland got to give props to them, but this is actually their first proper test against a nation that poses a massive threat to them. Yeah. I just, let's just review who they played. Serbia, one, nothing Denmark. They drew, uh, so Slovenia, 0-0. Zero, zero. Slovakia beat 2-1. Mm, kind of. Eh. Switzerland, they beat on Still penalties. struggled. Right. Still struck. All these games they've struggled in. There hasn't been one clean game where they're like, oh, okay. No. Yeah. There's not been a single game where they've been in control the entire time. So right. um, I, I see. I can see. I Not I can see. It's going to be a loss for England in this one. I have a yeah. 100% strong feeling just because yeah. they, don't, they, don't, they don't have what it takes. No, they don't have what it takes. I mean, they Switzerland took them to penalties. After winning, first of all, England had to fight back. And that's been the... England has had to chase a lot. And even when they're drawing, they're still typically not even looking like the better squad. And they somehow find a way out. But Switzerland took them to penalties. I think to to take Netherlands to the penalties here is would be a feat in itself... For, for England. England don't have the defensive capabilities to defend against the Golden Boot winner. Uh, they don't have the attacking capabilities and, and um, cohesion to get past the, the Dutch back line. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all it is. And then Gareth Southgate doesn't have the, manage, the, the managerial ability to lead this team to anything greater than this appearance against Netherlands. I think Netherlands, if they don't expose England here, uh, then, you know, that that's disappointing in the Netherlands. The Netherlands are, you know, they, they were, I would say, unlucky to have finished third in their group uh, behind Austria and, and France. Austria had a fantastic group stage. Unfortunately, they're not still in the tournament. Um, but since then, they've clawed back. They've really showed themselves as a possible final contender. And <laughs> sorry, the fly, the fly swat got me. And <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> it got right up in my eye. It was like right and there. If, <laughs> if, if there's a team deserving of this game more, it's the Netherlands. I mean, England. England doesn't deserve. England doesn't one deserve to be here. Mm-hmm. They don't. They didn't deserve to be in the last round. So let alone this round. So yeah, score prediction then. I'm gonna go three one to the Dutch. Ooh, I was gonna say three one. I was gonna say three one to the Dutch. I think there's three gonna one. be there's gonna be some goal off a of deflection or something for England. Something dropped in the box and then they I get it. I think they can they score first. England. When the Dutch just, and then the Dutch go. All right, bet and then run they, through them. Yeah, run through them. Yeah. Also, I like seeing that's England fans cry. 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 <laughs> They're funny. Yeah. I like seeing people cry. That's not my team. Accurate. Fairly accurate. Um, okay, so 3-1 for this game. We had, we had what, two zeros and two ones for the last game. Let us know in the comments down below your score prediction and how you think this game is going to go. Um, because it still could go either way for these games. I mean, this is at the point where moments... Get you farther than overall performances, and mm-hmm. that's a that's you know that's not how that's I like England my football to play, but that's just how it is. That is how England got this far anyway. So if they continue their streak of being subpar yet figuring it out at some point, um, then they're uh, going to be in the final figure, again. Figuring out is generous. Yes, yeah. they haven't but figured it out. For me though, either way, whoever 
whichever team here makes the final, I still think they're going to be the weaker team. I think both teams are weaker than Spain and France. Yeah, I agree. Personally, yeah. So I feel like if there's a game to watch, it's the Spain-France one. And then obviously, if you have time to watch this one, then please watch this one too. Both are going to be great games. But I do think that there is a difference in quality in both sides. But who knows? I mean, this we really, I really can't say how these games are going to go, and especially the final two, because these Euros have been so random and weird as a tournament to determine how everything's going. Yeah. yeah so, um, okay. Well, I think that's all we have. And we are going to do another Copa America preview predictions video. So if you're already watching this video at this point and you want more good and full podcast content, make sure to subscribe now if you're not already subscribed and then turn notifications on if they are already turned on to watch that video as well. I think it will be the day after no day of, I don't know. No, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how they come out, but Otherwise, let us know your predictions and thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you think one of these teams is going to win the Euros. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys hopefully in another video. And uh, take care.